Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate you watch what we do. Um, we're done traveling for at least a little while. So where are we going? Well, we're going up to actually do Kroger Live for the first time in, what, three weeks, honey? Um, before we get into our video, love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you have not already done so. Get that bell notification button below as well. That'll get you notified when our next video goes up. Love for you to hit the like button as well. Going to check out some digital deals and more this week at Kroger. Have you looked at the ad online yet? I did. Anything interesting? Um, There was. Anything interesting that I'm going to like? Of course. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. We'll find out when we get in the store. Uh, hang tight. We're going to get parked. We're going to go into Kroger. Uh, try and save you a little bit of money and save us a little bit of money as well. Hang tight. You're happy now. I know you are. I love pineapple. Well, and we had uh, some great pineapple when we were uh, away. On our cruise. And I'm hoping that we get some really good pineapple here. I guess the pineapple on a cruise was like the first thing to go. Yeah, uh, and, and to be honest, they got the pineapple. You can't get it any more fresh than what they got it on the cruise, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, this one. It's 88 cents a piece, so I would probably grab two of them. Still haven't figured out how to pick a good pineapple. I know. How's it do with pulling out something? Yeah, I know. But you could just let it sit and then Yeah. I let it ripen. All right. Get two? Yes, please. Yeah, at 88 cents a piece. That's actually cheaper than it was during the holidays. We'll see if these are good. Not a weekly digital deal, but the price is great. Uh, 97 cents a pound for asparagus. And it's just you at home right now, so are you going to get some? Yes, of course. You know me and asparagus. Now, you do know how to pick asparagus. Right. First of all, you want to make sure they're in water. Yeah, there is. And you want to make sure the tips are not like, honestly, like they're not like mushy. Right. And also depends on how thin you want the stalks. Mm -hmm. I actually like the stalks thinner. Right. So I'm going to go back here, making sure. You see, some of these are really dry as you look at them. So you don't want the dry asparagus. Yeah, I think the front ones are actually better. In other words, they've been sitting there? No, it's just that you don't want them to be dry. That's the issue. By the way, that's my shadow. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to show you a little trick here. But, the bag, uh -huh. a lot of people are having problems opening the bags. When you take the wipe to do uh -huh. your cart handles, right. hang on to it, and then wipe your fingers and open, they open right up. Just a little secret. That way you don't have to lick your fingers. You want some bananas? Of course. These are some really good bananas. These are better than the ones we picked up a couple of days ago. I mean, they taste so good. Oh, well, that's good. Actually, that's fine. Okay. Well, that's good. That's the only one that looks bad. Okay. Yeah. But what is this? Did you say Trader Joe's banana pricing is going up? Yeah, I read something about that where Trader Joe, their pricing on individual bananas is going to go up. I don't read, I haven't read the full article on it yet. But um, it actually made uh, national news on one of the cable news channels that Trader Joe's is raising the price of individual bananas and people are upset about it. This is something to take advantage of. Oranges are a digital deal right now. Uh, different varieties of the oranges, the Mineola, the Cara Cara, the Blood Oranges, a two ninety nine for the bag. And I believe it's a, a two pound bags is what they are. Well, this one is Some two are three pounds. pound bags, some are two pound bags. Right, and of course I would recommend getting a three pound bag because it's a better deal. They've also got the heirloom uh, navel oranges as well as part of that digital deal. Again, three pound bag on some, two pound bag on others, but uh, two ninety nine for the package. This is a leftover from last week, isn't it? Yeah, it's such a great price. I'm uh, just tempted to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to be using that much potatoes. Well, Easter's coming up, and you know, there's a lot more than you can do with potatoes. You can always flash. Yeah. Flash it. What is it? Flash freeze. Flash freeze it. Yes. I don't. We don't. We don't have a flash freezer, but we can also make potato salad out of that. That's I haven't done potato salad in ages. Two ninety nine for an eight pound pack of russet potatoes. Yeah, here's something in the meat case. It's actually a really good price. Oh, I like that. Five seventy seven a pound for the extra large cooked shrimp. You want some shrimp, honey? Actually, I do. What, what do you want me to get a pound? Uh, two pounds. Get two pounds of shrimp. Yep. I will get you two pounds of shrimp. Go get cocktail sauce while I get shrimp. 
That's a lot of shrimp. We'll go through it. Sixteen dollars worth of shrimp. There's two pounds. I didn't realize that there were, you were going to get that much shrimp for two pounds. Well, you know we can always freeze it. Well, yeah, true. There is also something on sale here that's in the app that I want to mention is the rib eye roast. That's Let actually me, a really good price too for that. One with a twenty-five dollar original additional purchase. Seven ninety-nine a pound for a rib roast, a ribeye roast. The uh, problem is, is I have never been able to cook a ribeye roast the way it should be cooked. I've tried. I've just never been able to pull it off like you can get in the restaurant. But if you want to go to a steak, which is basically very similar to a roast, but all cut up. These I can do. Did you? Wait, i got to show you this just because. Oh look my how God. thick they cut that. Yeah, look at that. Now, there's some that are thinner here, but yeah, nine ninety nine a pound for those. You know, ham is always uh, one of the Easter traditions, and they've got a couple of different ones. They've got the spiral honey half ham, limit two, and also brown sugar spiral ham, uh, limit two, both 89 cents a pound, depending on which way you want to go. We still have a couple of hams in the freezer. We do. What we do is we actually buy them when they're on sale, right. and then we put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. And these are good for a long time. For example, if you look at the dates on these, it's a sell by 425 2024 But if you actually look at the dates, they're really good for like a year or two. Yeah, we throw them in the freezer and... Mm -hmm. We still have some that we'll use this Easter. We'll probably come back and pull the one out of the freezer mm -hmm. this year and do that for Sunday. We have time to thaw it out right. and then get a couple more to put in the freezer. So this says it's good till freeze by May 22nd. So you have at least a month, yeah, two months, almost two months, before you decide whether you want to freeze it or not. So a lot of breakfast items up for a digital deal, including Smithfield bacon, and you can pick that up. There's uh, different varieties, uh, 10 to 16 ounce packages for $3.99. Um, they also have Bob Evans uh, sausage in the rolls, um, select varieties of the 12 ounce packages for $2.99. You can pick those up. And then for your Thanksgiving dinner, why not do the Bob Evans side dishes make it a little bit easier. They've got uh, select varieties of those 12 to 24 ounce packages for two Thanksgiving, no, it's Easter. Wait a minute, it's Easter. I got my holidays mixed up, it's Easter. Uh, if you wanna make it a little easier for your Easter dinner, uh, you can pick these up for $2.99 a package. They've got uh, broccoli and cheese, they've got mashed potatoes, they've got uh, tasteful sides of macaroni and cheese. Each third, the macaroni and cheese is two to three people, and the uh, potatoes and the uh, are four to five people. So uh, plan your dinner, maybe get these Bob Evans side dishes, make it a little easier for cooking. So if you don't want ham, as Steve is in a Thanksgiving mood, you can always have turkey breast. I, 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 for some reason, I'm thinking Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, turkey breast, the honeysuckle white turkey breast, two forty nine a pound. Here's one that I don't, is it inside the ad? Did you see this in the ad? No, I did not. The Nature Valley bars, or the uh, Fiber One bars, for four ninety nine for the package. Uh, 18 to 36 count, or even they've got it listed on the sign, but I don't see them here. Mott's fruit snacks are also part uh, 40 count for a 4.99 a pound or 4.49 a package. Looks like these are also included in that digital deal with the uh, Nature Valley kind protein bars. Um, but these are 5.99. Select varieties 5.99 for these. You can pick these up as part of that digital deal or oh, part of a, a digital deal, I should lots say. Lots of different flavors. Look at these. Yeah. I see that. Um, what do they got? Peanut butter, dark chocolate, dark chocolate cherry cashew, a strawberry sunflower seed, dark chocolate raspberry pumpkin seed. Yeah, they've got a bunch of different varieties. Uh, Five ninety nine for the kind protein bars. This one's dangerous. This one's not in the ad. But this one's dangerous. It is. Yeah, the Pepperidge Farms cookies for two ninety nine. That's that's like almost half price. I know. And uh, we can get up to five. We, we, we can get up to five. We can get a couple. You like oatmeal raisin. Mm -hmm. I like milk chocolate. Is there anything else you like? I think that's good. So just get two? Mm -hmm. You can get up to five on that digital coupon. These are Triscuits, the different varieties of Triscuits for a digital deal. $1.99 each. 
I love Triscuits. Do they have original? Yes, they do. Right? No, those are Triscuits Synth Crisp. Uh huh. They have original right here. You see original? Original's right here. Now, why don't you get a box of those? Because Wheat Thins are also part of that digital deal, and I want to get a box of the original Wheat Thins so for dollar ninety nine. So, and this is neat. There's your Wheat Thins. So let's get a box. I want to get a. Oops, sorry. Lots of different flavors. For example, here's Triscuits and roasted garlic, mm -hmm. balsamic vinegar and basil, garden herb, dill seed, salt and olive. Avocado, cilantro, and lime, smoked gouda, and of course, original. And here is some reduced fat. Sour cream and onion down cracked, there. Cracked pepper and olive oil, and wheat thins. They've got the different varieties of wheat thins, including a hint of salt, tomato, and basil, and of course, the original, which I'm going to be picking up. So we'll get one box of each um, and throw those. They're $1.99 each as part of that digital deal. And again, you can get up to five if you want. Well, one last thing before we leave the cracker aisle is Ritz crackers. They, they've got a couple of different varieties here. The uh, original single, well, I, I wouldn't call these singles, but they're, you know, not individually wrapped, mm -hmm. but they do have the sleeves, the individually wrapped sleeves. You get uh, eight sleeves, uh, and each of those are $1.99 if you want to pick those up as a digital deal. So the original, that one is a... Uh, which one, how much weight is that? 13.7 ounces. That's actually the best buy. Yeah. Because of the individually wrapped, it, you're only getting 11.6 ounces. And there's other ones down here too. Flavor Ritz. How about the roasted vegetable? And there's whole wheat down there, back there. Yep. And next to it, there is a hint of salt. So they're coming up with a lot of different flavors. Is that peanut butter? Oh, that's Nabisco yeah, peanut butter. Oh, yeah. I like that one, but they're out of it. So pick up the Ritz, but again, don't get the sleeves because you get more crackers in the, uh, I guess there's a bag of Ritz crackers in that box, one bag. And you get eight sleeves in the other one, but you get more crackers in the uh, box than you do in the, in the individually wrapped sleeves. And before we leave the cookie aisle, I want to talk about Chips Ahoy cookies, which are also a digital deal at $1.99. The original, the uh, Chips Ahoy with Reese's, the uh, Chips Ahoy Chewy, the, uh, the original, um, I guess these are yeah, chocolate chip, uh, chip mates, I guess is what they call these. Oh, those are the Kroger. Right, chip oh, chunky, chunky is what I want. Chunky. chunky, the Chunky. Yeah, these are the Kroger ones. They're not a digital deal. But uh, yeah, Chips Ahoy cookies are a digital deal too at $1.99 for select varieties. Here's a rinse and repeat, but we would like to bring it up. Mm -hmm. Folgers Coffee. Six ninety nine for Folgers Coffee, for uh, the different varieties that they have here. So six ninety nine for Black Silk for Breakfast Blend, for a Gourmet Supreme for Col Colombian, Colombian, a House Blend, the different varieties again for a six ninety nine for the uh, Folgers Coffee. And you can't forget Classic. No, can't forget the Classic. So is it cheaper to buy your Starbucks here? And go to Starbucks. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the thing about this is, uh, you like the uh, the blonde roast right. when you get it, and I don't think they have the blonde roast here, but they do have a breakfast blend. They do have the cinnamon dolce, mocha, vanilla, caramel, uh, veranda blend, uh, decaf, pike. Uh, Six ninety nine for your uh, Starbucks coffee, the ground coffee. And yeah, the pods are part of the digital deal too but you get 10 pods. I think the ground coffee is a better deal, isn't it? It is. Than the pods, but if you have a Keurig, then you'll want the pods for $6.99. Have you noticed all the different kinds of peeps they have now? Ooh, sour. Strawberry, yeah, strawberry sour strawberry peeps, uh, regular peeps. There was a, uh, like a Mountain Dew peep, I think, that came out last year. I haven't seen that yet this year. You know, the other thing I haven't seen this year is the Cadbury cream eggs. They have an add up for it, but I have not found any in the store. A couple of different things you can pick up here in the salad dressing aisle. The Kroger uh, variety of uh, salad dressing is a digital deal at $1.49. Uh, creamy ranch dressing, zesty Italian, blue cheese dressing, balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, again, uh, buttermilk ranch, they have that too. $1.49 each for those. Oh, the bottom shelf, what, California French, creamy mm -hmm. French? Creamy French, California French. Do you see um, Caesars, though, anywhere? I do not a see Caesars. Small Caesars? Yeah, I don't see a Caesars. Ah, uh, there's honey mustard up there. Yeah, not going to work on Caesars salad dressing, though. 
Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, there's classic Caesars right there. Do you want to try their Caesar dressing? No, we already have one. Okay. You know, I've mentioned this before in some of our videos. Uh, Hellman's mayonnaise, mm -hmm. west of the, either the Rockies or west of the Mississippi, it's Best Foods mm -hmm. mayonnaise. And it's Same thing, just different label. Right. So there is the light, and here is the regular. Two ninety nine for those. Um, they got mad at me. Uh, our kids got mad at me because I bought the other kind of mayonnaise. You bought Kraft. I bought Kraft when it was on sale instead of the Hellman's. Hellman's is on sale now, though. But i got to go through the Kraft before I can buy more Hellman's. I think I know what we're having for dinner tonight. This is not in the ad either. This is just in the aisle. You must have gotten it online. Right. Nathan's Hot Dogs. Nathan's, I should say, Nathan's Beef Franks, three ninety nine dollars for a package of Nathan's. Now, they have the uh, Jumbo Beef Franks. They have the eight beef franks. They also have the uh, skinless beef franks. These are the bun length skinless here. If you want to get those, I, I should say I'm not, sorry. The bun length skinless. These are the regular beef franks. I like the bunless, the bun length rather beef franks. These are skinless beef franks. That's fine. So I'm going to pick. Up, I like the uh, the bun length. So I'll pick up these again. Three ninety nine. Do you want me to get some to put in the freezer? Yep. That's what we do is we buy them and we freeze them. Yep. I'll get one of these for the for the grill later yep. on. As a matter of fact, I'll get two of these for the grill later on. There we go. So how much is this? Do they have a price down there? I think they were nine ninety nine in so, our area. Oh, so you're gonna pay like eighteen or yeah, I'm sorry, you're gonna pay twenty dollars for five. Works out to be about four dollars a twelve pack, which is basically what I paid last week. Mm-hmm. So, am I going to stock up or no? No, we pay, we bought some when we got back. That's what I thought. I think I think we're good. I know that you like sour cream on potatoes. I like to take uh, some Lipton's onion soup mix, the dry onion soup mix, and make my own French onion soup dip with uh, sour cream. Dollar uh, forty nine right now is a digital deal. They have uh, different varieties of the Kroger branded sour cream here that you. Pick up for a dollar forty nine, including the cottage cheese too. Cottage cheese oh, I didn't is part the of cottage it. Cottage cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cottage cheese is part of it. I got to admit, honey, Outshine bars were my go-to for the longest time, but I've kind of gotten away from them. You mean you've grown up? Yeah, I kind of grown up a little bit. Uh, Two forty nine though for the uh, different varieties of the Outshine bars, and the only one that's gone is the one I like, the strawberry. So they have the. Uh, Raspberry, the no sugar added strawberry, uh, watermelon, peach, mango, tangerine. Tangerines, by the way, not bad. Uh, they also have lemon, they have lime. So two forty nine each for the outshine bars, which actually are a good go-to, but I've just gotten away from them. What would you do for a Klondike bar? I don't know. I would do. I would really get them. You know, the ones that you like, though, the uh, ones that are the sandwiches, I think. Are they on sale? I think they are. Oh, they are. Are they? Yeah, I think so. No, are they? I don't see the sandwiches on sale. You don't sale. see that? They are not. Um, yeah, they are. Right here. Yeah, Ice cream sandwich, six count, right there. 25 the digital deal? Those are the ones yes, you like. Yes, they are. The six count? Yep. You want to get one or two? Uh, I know you like these. I like these. So we'll get two of these. You can get up to five again with your digital coupon, but that's a digital deal at two ninety nine each. I do like Red Baron Pizza. These are the singles. These are one of the things that are a digital deal with Red Baron Pizza. A two ninety nine for the individuals uh, and also the two packs of certain varieties like the French bread. But they also have the big pizzas at two ninety nine each. And those are down here. You can look at the different varieties they have down here. Where? Right here. Right there? Yeah. This is a really good price. We don't have enough freezers today. Spoons, no. But this is a really good price. If do check it out in your area. Two ninety nine, thin and crispy pepperoni, classic crust, um, supreme pizza as well, uh, brick oven pizza. So check your different varieties of what they've got here. Two ninety nine each for the Red Baron pizza. Cannot forget the Briars ice cream, honey. Two ninety nine. That's a decent price for Briars. I've seen it as low as two fifty. I've gotten away from Briars and getting towards Tillamook when Tillamook goes on sale, though, or Tillamook as some people say it's pronounced. Um, but I do like my Briars, especially when they come out with uh, the. Um, orange creamsicle version of, uh, of Briars, which I haven't seen in a while. Ooh, they have it. No, this is the Kroger paper towels. Yeah. This isn't what's in the ad, but, but the Kroger paper towels are a digital deal. Uh, two uh, rolls equal four. 
You can pick those up for a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, right here. Hold the paper right here. And they're out. They're out. Yep, they're out. Yeah, so it's the it's the smaller one of these. It's not that yeah, one. Yeah, the twelve it's, it's the twelve rolls. This is the eighteen roll. They're out of the twelve rolls. Uh twelve rolls three ninety nine for so the Scott we can show them. paper. Yeah. There. So it's this one. Yep. I keep seeing all the advertisements for Gold Bond, uh, and Gold Bond lotion is a digital deal uh, at eight ninety nine. And you could even save more. It's just a dollar an hour. Yeah, save a dollar coupon. Uh, so seven ninety nine with that coupon that's on there. But you can also just get candles. They've got candles on sale. The candlelight candles for four ninety nine. If you like uh, candles, uh, burning candles. Did you notice they're still branding Wish? Oh, they're still trying to they're brand still, Wish. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, I've not watched Wish. Up. I've not watched Wish. Say that five times real fast. I'll wait till it comes out on Disney Plus. Eighty nine cents for a pineapple. Um, I, that's cheaper than what we paid over Christmas, isn't it? It is. I think we paid ninety nine cents for pineapples. Over I thought Christmas. it was a dollar forty nine, but that, that's me. All right. Well, you're the one that pays the bill, so you're probably right, and I'm not. Just one of the many digital deals uh, we took advantage of today, uh, including uh, let's see, shrimp. Yes. Two pounds of shrimp. Uh, seven ninety nine a pound, fresh, uh, extra large shrimp. You well, had... it came out to like five ninety nine a pound. So is that what it was? Yes, after the coup digital coupon. Oh wow! So uh, great prices on a lot of things. So good stock. Uh, I don't know if this is a stock up sale. Well, for us because we've been out of town and people want to know where we went. Where did we go? We went on a cruise um, through the Panama Canal. Um, we left out of uh, Port Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Is it Port Lauderdale? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Ended up in Long Beach. Uh, Long, Los Angeles. Well, but the port of Long Beach is what it was. Okay. Um, and we went through the Panama Canal. And we've been putting videos up of uh, Embarkation Day right. uh, through the canal. So there'll be more videos coming up. We did a lot of videos. <laughs> we just don't want to lambaste you with all of them at well, the same time. Well, now that I have to edit the videos. So True. let's clarify that. We did videos. We got footage. We just haven't edited it yet. We have uh, actually going through the old canal. Uh, and how the how the locks actually work, we were, we did that. Uh, we did a lot of uh, on the ship, um, and there's a couple other ones you might want to check out. They'll be coming up soon, right. so make sure you hit the subscribe button below if you've not already done so. Bell notification button below. That'll notify you when those next videos go up, and please hit the like button too. Helps us out immensely. Thanks for watching this video as we try and save you a little bit of money here at Kroger with digital deals and more, and have yourself a magical day.